I was wondering, what if I shapeshift into Taylor Swift? Oh my god! I'm going to start by taking care of my skin and depuffing my face. I'll be using a gold eye mask, then dropping in some vitamin C serum and massaging it into my face. Now to depuff my face, I'm going to stimulate my lymphatic system using my Gua Sha face massage tools. Starting with the roller, I'm just going to roll this in all over my face wherever it feels good, then draining out the rest with a flat piece. Now that my face is feeling fresh, let's get into the makeup. Starting with a green colored primer, this is going to cancel out any redness in my face. And after massaging it in, you can see how much brighter my face is. Moving on to my favorite foundation, I'm going to be blending this out with a kiwi. It's actually just a makeup sponge that looks exactly like a kiwi. It actually blends out my foundation very well and the fuzzy side of the kiwi does a good job at picking up any excess product and making everything look airbrushed. I do hate having foundation on my lips so I'm gonna wipe that off now and I'm gonna be adding in some concealer in the areas that need some touch-ups and I'm going to be blending this out with a beauty sponge that looks like an orange. Now I'm going to set my face with this translucent ballerina powder. Make sure to fully saturate your puff and evenly pat it all over your face. Using a fan brush, I'm going to contour and bronze in the areas that match the shadows on Taylor Swift's photo. For my blush, I'm going to be dipping into this orangey shade and applying it in areas that match the picture. Using white eyeshadow, I'm applying this to areas that mimic the high points in Taylor Swift's face, mainly bringing forth the cheekbones, the brow bones, and the area between her eyebrows. To make my eyebrows look blonde, I'm just adding some foundation on a spoolie and blending it into my brows. Using a golden brown eyeshadow, I'm going to be filling in my brows in a way that mimics the shape of Taylor Swift's eyebrows. Then with a copper brown, I'm going to be placing this on my bottom lash line as well as above the crease and trying to create the illusion that my lids are a little bit smaller than they are. Now I'm applying a very small wing using black eyeshadow. For false eyelashes, I selected a pair that looks foxy and natural at the same time. After waiting about 2 minutes for the glue to fully dry, I'm going to be applying some mascara so that my natural lashes can blend in with the fake ones. I'll also be connecting some liquid glitter from my inner corners to the middle of my lid. Moving on to the lips, I'm going to be grabbing this 2-in-1 lipstick and lip liner. Starting with the lip liner side, I'm going to be lining my lips to match the shape of Taylor's, then filling the rest in with the lipstick side. Going back in with the lip liner, I'm just going to refine that Cupid's bow again. Now going in with my absolute favorite apple scented lip gloss. This is going to help my lips look juicier. To set everything in, I'm going to be using this sparkly setting spray. And to finish it all off, I'm going to be spraying my face with fairy powder. Considering what I looked like before I started this video, do you think I did a good job at shapeshifting myself into Taylor Swift? 